Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today, we'll talk about quality assurance, quality control and audits in clinical research. More after the intro. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Clinical trials are integral processes in the development of new drugs, therapies, and medical devices. They are designed to evaluate the safety and effectiveness of these products before they are released to the public. However, clinical trials are complex and meticulous processes that require stringent measures to ensure their integrity and reliability. This is where Quality Assurance QA, Quality Control QC, and audits come in. Understanding these three elements is key for anyone starting in clinical research. In this video, we will delve into QA, QC, and audits, their roles in clinical trials, and how they differ from each other. Let us start by understanding quality assurance in clinical trials. Quality assurance is a proactive process that is designed to prevent defects by focusing on the process used to make the product. It ensures that clinical trials are conducted according to predefined quality standards and regulations. The role of quality assurance in clinical trials is vast. It involves developing standard operating procedures, training staff, designing study-specific protocols, and conducting internal audits, among other things. These efforts ensure that all activities are executed correctly, thus preventing errors or violations that could compromise the trial data. Quality assurance is important because it helps maintain the integrity of the clinical trial process. By ensuring that all regulations and standards are adhered to, quality assurance reduces the risk of trial failure due to non-compliance or poor data quality. Let us go on with understanding quality control in clinical trials. While quality assurance focuses on preventing defects through process control, quality control is a reactive process that identifies and corrects defects in the finished product. In a clinical trial context, quality control involves checking the data collected during the trial to ensure it is accurate, complete, and reliable. The role of quality control in clinical trials includes data verification, cross-checking source documents, monitoring trial activities, and overseeing corrective actions when necessary. Quality control differs from quality assurance in its focus. While quality assurance is process-oriented, aiming to prevent defects by ensuring the quality of the processes, quality control is product-oriented, focusing on identifying and correcting defects in the finished product data. But what about audits in clinical trials? An audit is an examination of a trial's conduct, safety data, compliance, and other aspects. It is a systematic and mostly independent examination to determine whether activities and related results comply with planned arrangements and whether these arrangements are implemented effectively. The purpose of audits in clinical trials is to verify that the data reported is accurate, complete, and verifiable from source documents. Audits also check that all trial activities were conducted following the approved protocol, good clinical practice, and applicable regulatory requirements. Audits relate to quality assurance and quality control as they are part of the overall quality management system. While quality assurance and quality control focus on preventing and identifying defects or errors during the trial, audits provide an additional layer of assurance by independently verifying the trial's integrity. What are the differences between quality assurance, quality control, and audits in clinical trials? While quality assurance, quality control, and audits all aim at ensuring high-quality clinical trials, their methods, goals, and outcomes differ. Quality assurance focuses on preventing errors through process control. Quality control identifies and corrects errors in the collected data. Audits independently verify the trial's conduct and data. For instance, suppose a patient's blood pressure is recorded incorrectly due to a faulty device. In that case, quality assurance would have prevented this error by ensuring the device was correctly calibrated before use. 
quality control would identify this error when cross-checking the patient's data. An audit would independently confirm this error during its examination of the trial's conduct and data. Let us have a look at the interplay of quality assurance, quality control, and audits in clinical trials. Quality assurance, quality control, and audits are not standalone processes. They complement each other to ensure the integrity and reliability of clinical trials. Together, they form a comprehensive quality management system that ensures the trial is conducted correctly, the data collected is accurate and reliable, and the trial's conduct and results can be independently verified. By integrating quality assurance, quality control, and audits in the clinical trial process, we not only ensure the trial's quality and reliability, but also uphold ethical standards, protect the rights and well-being of trial participants, and maintain public trust in clinical research. In conclusion, quality assurance, quality control, and audits are crucial components of quality management in clinical trials. While they function differently, with quality assurance focusing on process control, quality control on product control, and audits on independent verification, they all work towards the common goal of ensuring the integrity and reliability of clinical trials. Their impact on the overall quality of clinical trials cannot be overstated. By ensuring that every step of the trial is correctly executed, that the data collected is reliable, and that all activities can be independently verified, these three elements play a key role in advancing medical science and improving patient care. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.